Hey guys and gals, it's Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com and today for SharePoint, I'm just going to show you um, some ways that you can move over content from one site to another site if you need to do that. So if you, as you can see here on the screen, um, I'm moving an old uh, woman's veterans program uh, SharePoint site to a newer site, a communication site in this particular case. So I just want to show you how I go out and, and do this. I do um, several departments. Um, and this just happens to be one of them. It's a kind of an easy one. There's not a lot of content on there. So once you bring up the site, I'm gonna hit site contents here. I'm gonna hit site contents here. I'm gonna kind of get an idea and take a look at what they have. Um, now what I normally do is mirror what's going on here. Um, obviously you don't necessarily have to do that. You can do anything uh, you need to do. So for instance, this uh, mammogram van events, uh, I'm just gonna create a new document folder on the new site. Uh, I don't necessarily need it in the navigation. That's totally up to you, obviously. It will just appear on the left-hand side if you happen to do that. So bear with me while I create this folder. All right, I don't really have a description for it, so I'm gonna create that. And I do this uh, folder by folder because I just wanna make sure everything's getting in there. Um, so I'm gonna click on this folder here. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. Let me open this a little bit. First off, you can um, download this. It will download as a zip file and let me show you. All right, it's gonna download as something like this. You can name it whatever you want. Women's, what was it, Women's Veterans Program. All right, and then it will, um, oops, and it will save. All right, and then if I bring up um, my download, oops, my downloads, there it is right there. Normally what I do is you could just do like a new folder, and just call it, uh, well, just call it what it is. Let's put it and oops, so I'll open this. I'll just copy this content and then I'll just paste it in here. All right, and there's all the information. I'll drag it over to my other monitor, you won't be able to see it. And yeah, bring this back. And what I would do is just put this over here like this. That's not the, the general way that I like to do it. That's just an option for you if you want to do it that way. Um, this is the way I do it. Um, this is this is if you're under one SharePoint umbrella, obviously. If you're under two different URLs, two different services, you're going to have to do the zip file and drag it over like I just showed you. If you're on the same service and you're just creating a new page for that particular service, as you can see um, right here, and right here are the same service, the same site. So everything's under the same umbrella. So I can do this in this case. So I'm gonna to have to open this up to show you. I'm gonna grab everything in this folder. You just hit this top button here. Now you can move. Um, I don't necessarily do that. It's just exactly what it sounds like. It takes all this content, deletes it from this page and brings it over to this page. Don't wanna do that. I want to have this content here because this is still, this site's still gonna be live for another four months, four, four, <laughs> four months, four months. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna move, or copy, I'm sorry, not move, I'm just gonna copy. So what I'm gonna do is find that library, the new Women's Veterans Services. So it's right there. And there's the new folder that I created. So I want it in that folder. So I'm gonna hit copy here, excuse me. And then if I hit refresh, you're gonna see this stuff is uh, going in there. There's not really not a lot on this particular website. 
So what I'll do is I'll go back in, I'll hit site contents again, I'll hit site contents here again, and I'll just compare. Okay, 13 files here, 13 files here. Um, you can do the same for this. This is their OneNote. Oh, no, no, that's not their OneNote. Let me go back. Where was their OneNote? Um, it's their site assets. Maybe there wasn't one on here. Maybe I'm fibbing. All right, so I'll show you one more time. I'm going to go back. All right, so they have this particular folder. I have no idea what any of that means. I don't, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to call it what, what it already is. Obviously, you can call it whatever the hell you want. It doesn't have to be the same name. Um, but you can move it to any folder that you want. So I'm just going to create that. Okay. So I'm in the folder now. You can see it right here. Open this. And I will just grab onto this content. I will open this. And I will copy. And then I'm going to find that particular site. Which is right here. There's the new folder that I created, and I'm going to copy. And then again, if we come over here, then um, there it's, it's loading up. So let's go to, or it's moving over, I should say, or copying over. Um, site contents, site contents. Okay, so there's ten. There's ten. So it all moved over. Could have swore they had a. Um, Had a OneNote page. I mean, you do the same thing for OneNote if you particularly have that. There it is, right there. I'm not sure why their OneNote is under their assets. Um, I'm going to move that as well. I don't know if I want. I'm just going to call it OneNote. Here, I'll show you if you, you um, call it something else. Original OneNote. Original OneNote. Oops. Should be one word, I guess. Microsoft OneNote. Okay, I'm going to create that. And I am going to, so I'm in the original OneNote. Okay. So I'm going to go to their site assets. So the reason it says 13 on there is because there's 13 postings in their OneNote. Uh, oops, going the wrong way here. Um, if you don't know what OneNote is, it's, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, they just have different items and stuff um, in there, so I will copy, let's see, move to, copy to, okay, that's some extra stuff here. So copy to, uh, again, where it's going, original OneNote, and copy here. All right, so if we go... Here, their OneNote should pop in there. All right, perfect. Though this is really it for this particular site. Um, I don't think they have anything else that needs to be moved over. You know? And these are all. There's nothing in that folder, so I'm not sure what that's about. So that's complete for me. Let me try another. Um, let me see if I can find another site I need to do around here someplace. I have a whole spreadsheet that I use um, to keep myself organized as far as what I did. So this is a communication site. This is completed. And it's okay, I got another site I gotta do. Okay, I'm going to do respiratory therapy and show you. And kind of repetition. So let me get to the old site. Oops. That's the old site. Okay, we're going to get to the new site. Oh, something else I can show you too, which really has nothing to do with um, moving over the content. And I'll show you in just a second as an added bonus. Let's see what they have here. <clears throat> see, I have a lot of stuff on here. So this is going to be a really simple move. I know the fact they're going to use this. They just haven't used it um, since it was created, really. 
So I don't really have to do anything. I don't have to create anything. It's already there. Uh, I just need to get into it, get into the folder. And if you want to do this whole site, you're going to have to do the zip file. I do a folder at a time. It's just, I like to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. So I kind of do it very carefully. And then I'm going to copy two. And this one's respiratory therapy. So I need to find the new respiratory therapy, which is right there. And okay. I want to make sure that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Here. Going here, we should see documents start populating. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, just as an added bonus, um, if you need to do a hub site, um, you would create uh, this is actually um, a department that I have, and this is actually our hub site. So this top banner goes on every site that I'm doing, and this bottom banner is per department. So I'll show you just for example. Uh, so we need to go to site information. Right. And then as you can see here, here's all our hub sites. And then uh, I work for Finger Lakes, so there's the Finger Lakes hub site. All right, I'm just going to hit save. Someday I'll go home. <clears throat> and then there's our top banner that's going to go on every single department. And then I'll add them to the top navigation. I'm not going to do that in this video. I've done it in other videos. Um, then I go in and I add permissions. Um, to who can access the site right now. It's just me. So I'll, I'll add um, whoever uh, needs permissions. I'll send them out an email. I'll send them out a message. Let them know, okay, here's your new site. It's yours. I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> That's not very true. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, um, as far as me sending that to them, let me know. And then that's their site. They do what they want with it. All right, gals and guys, that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to move over uh, content from one site to another. So I hope that was most helpful for you. And I'll be doing a lot more SharePoint tutorials as I go. Um, I do a lot of things on this. Uh, so I'll show you bits and pieces. Now I did three long tutorials, uh, which you can check out on the channel. And I'm going to do shorter ones for bits and pieces of what you can do with SharePoint. All right, gals and guys, thank you as always. If you could please definitely subscribe if you uh, trying to build up subscribers, of course. Always love to build the channel. Please like if you like this video. And hit thumbs up if you didn't like this video. But either way, okay? And then, um, I'm kidding, of course, share, uh, please, if you know someone that's interested in this type of content. And then hit the bell if you want updates. And I think that's all four things that I ask you to do. It's like a laundry list. It's like homework for you. I uh, thank you. I appreciate you as always. And...